My name is Jochen Haab, here at Mercedes-Benz in Immendingen. I'm responsible for concept and field validation, testing technologies and technical communication of the Intelligent Drive driver assistance systems. If you want, I'm responsible for real-life safety testing. Intelligent Drive, that is the combination of comfort and safety, but on the technical side also the combination of sensors, for example, camera, radar, ultrasonic sound, um, but also the brain of the driver assistance systems, which is our Intelligent Drive controller. We have different setups here to show you how these systems work. For example, here in the city, we focus on vulnerable road users. Uh, we have parking systems where, for example, the rear axle steering can help you depark and park very comfortably. And we have highway scenarios where we focus also on emergency situations like crossing scenarios where the car, if you're distracted, can break for you. Of course, our main focus is to keep you comfortably in the car with all the safety we have. So we also have uh, one tour that shows you in the car how the car reacts, I have a little more. I can even give you a glimpse in the very near future. So within the second half of the next year, we will introduce Drive Pilot, uh, which will be our first level three system in the car on the road in Germany. We're sitting in the S-Class equipped with Drive Pilot, our level three system in this new and beautiful car. And we will encounter a traffic jam in a very few moments and as soon as the car detects this traffic jam and we're in the range uh, of these cars and in the range of speed, it offers me to activate the drive pilot. I just have to press one of these buttons and as you can see, they turn turquoise, both of them and also the rim of the steering wheel. Plus I get a display here and then I can let go. The car will drive by itself. The responsibility is with the car and I can do other things, for example, Let's just check what's on the browser. Even in tricky situations, the car can assist me, I can stay relaxed and I can just enjoy the ride. And I can rely on the safety of this car. Ooh, even as in this example, if there was an unforeseen end of a traffic jam that I couldn't see because there was a big car ahead of me. But of course, I have to stay alert and be prepared to take over. The car tells me to take control. I take control, I press the button. So oh, there was a police car in this case. And it's safer if I steer the car uh, so the police car can pass through the emergency corridor. But of course, afterwards, I can always reactivate Drive Pilot and just keep going. So this is the comfort we can offer you in the Drive Pilot, the comfort and the safety. And we are convinced that by the time we offer it next year in the new S-Class, you will love the system. My name is Matthias Struck. I'm a senior safety engineer in vehicle safety at Mercedes-Benz. With more than 60 years of crash testing, more than 50 years of accident research, we at Mercedes-Benz have a long tradition in vehicle safety. And one of the most important patterns of that time, end of the 50s, is still true today. We have crumpled zones in the front and the rear of the car, a stiff passenger compartment, and restraint systems for the occupants. Today, safety is more than just crash safety. We are talking about the integral safety approach in four phases. Safe driving, digital light, for instance, for good visibility. In critical driving situations, that would be the active brake assist, for instance, and pre-safe. During a crash, of course, airbags, vehicle structure, etc. And then after the crash phase, for instance, the automatic emergency call. Real life safety is what driving us, the engineers at Mercedes-Benz. The integral safety concept, of course, is true for all Mercedes-Benz models. Our flagship, the S-Class, has some special features. The driver assistance package comes standard with the S-Class. In addition to that, vehicles with drive pilot also feature, for instance, this lighter sensor up front here in the grill. More safety content with less weight. That is what we were aiming at. And we reached it with a material mix with 60% of aluminum in the body of this car. And now we're coming to my personal favorite. 40 years after the introduction of the driver airbag in an S-Class, we are now introducing the rear airbags. That's the first frontal airbags for both rear seats. And what is so special about that is that this airbag uses a special tubular structure 
and ambient air to create the restraint function. And that is just a small impression of what we are doing for your safety. My name is Maxi Vogel and I'm responsible for the holistic user interaction concept of our new S-Class. I'm going to show you something about user interfaces. This is what an old user interface looked like in our S-Class from 1972. And now I'm going to show you our new MBUX. MBUX has tons of thousands of features, as you already know, but I'm going to show you my top three. Let's start with the first one, Smart Home Integration, finally arrived in our all-new S-Class. And I'm going to show you how you can use that one. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Are the lights turned on at home? I've checked it out for you. Currently, all lights are on. Please turn them off. Sure, I'll turn off your lights. My next highlight is our MBUX sharing panel. Since MBUX is now available on all seats, you can have a very cool collaborative experience with our sharing panel. You can control the displays, for example, switch them on, or you can also block them. And very cool and easy share content, for example, videos. I can share and control from here as well. Or from here. Let me show you my third highlight. It's the spot context in our instrument cluster. You get there very easy with just a few swipes and get a very cool emotional sport context with the red color, but also a lot of engine data, info, g-force, newton meter. But you know what? It's better experienced while driving. So let's take a ride. Those are my personal highlights of the new MBUX. My name is Matthias Klepfer at Mercedes-Benz. I'm responsible for the development of hybrid transmission software. As you know, there are a lot of myths about plug-in hybrids, but still plug-in hybrids are combining the best out of two worlds. With our new plug-in hybrid in the S-Class, hybrid of the generation four, we are getting more electric than ever. The most impressive fact is an electric range of approximately 100 km, and this is a value which you can also reach in real life. We achieved this electric range with a big battery of 28.6 kilowatt hours energy. And we also have more power in the battery. And to charge more power, we also have new chargers. We have an 11 kilowatt AC charger, which is series, and we have an optional DC charger, which has 60 kilowatts. With this charger, you can give the battery a full charge within about half an hour. The heart of the plug-in hybrid is the electric motor. The electric motor is between the gearbox, the 9-tronic and the combustion engine. We have electric motor with 110 kilowatts and we have 120 kilowatts for recuperation. And there's a lot of technology here. We have a torque converter, we have the lock-up clutch and we also included now the power electronics in the power head. Looking on the combustion engine there, we have a 3-liter 6-cylinder engine with up to 270 kilowatts, so the overall system performance is quite impressive. As I said before, the new S-Class Hybrid is more electric than ever. And now let's go for a ride and see how this feels. So now we are on the S-Class Hybrid and we are driving electrically, smooth and comfortable. Let's see what the vehicle is doing. So we can see torque and power now. So I'm full on the gas, I'm electric maximum. And if I decelerate now, you can see the recuperation. 
So I did this with my foot. Now I can also do this with the shift pedals. If I press my left shift pedal to D minus, um, I can accelerate again, full power, and I just take the foot off the gas and now the vehicle is decelerating with the electric motor only. So I can drive with one foot only with the gas pedal now. I'm switching to battery hold now. The combustion engine shuts on, um, so I'm saving the battery now. But even there, if I drive with the combustion engine, if I decelerate, the combustion engine shuts off and I also here have my recuperation. So I'm regaining energy. Well, as I told you, the new S-Class Hybrid is more electric than ever before. My name is Magnus Rau. I'm responsible for the development of the rear axle steering at Mercedes-Benz. One highlight of the new S-Class is the rear axle steering with large angles. The new S-Class is the first production vehicle with a 10 degree steering at the rear wheels. Due to this, the new S-Class handles like a compact car. For example, the turning circle of the new S-Class corresponds to the turning circle of the small A-Class. So, the new S-Class gets a perfect maneuverability and agility. The turning circle is reduced by almost 2 meters. As you can see here, parking is really easy. The wheels steer in the opposite direction. At higher speeds, the wheels steer in the same direction and this leads to more stability and safety. Coming back to the parking maneuver, here you can see the advantage of the 10 degree steering if you want to park in a tight parking space. No maneuvering backwards is necessary, you can park forward at once. This is the rear axle and here you can see the steering gear of the rear axle steering. The steering gear is mounted to the subframe, here you can see the tie rods and outside we have the ball joints instead of rubber bearings similar to the front axle. We have one motor and one control unit to steer both wheels. That's some technical details behind the rear axle steering. And believe me, it's a pleasure to drive it. 